night everybody sorry about that welcome back to corpse party this oh, i'll tell you all later let's get going last when we started we were um in chapter two where we had just started chapter two um and uh yes let's move and um as you know um now me had just seen something horrific. So let's see the chapter two opening. <gasps> Whew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in the two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Seiko. <laughs> Freaking Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks. And he expects me to lug around a damned pommel horse? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? Huh? What is? That booty you got. What? Hers is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. <laughs> I said that when I was young too. Now I have two, and I'm like, <laughs> nope, that's good. Two is fine. <laughs> Sounds like you'll be making some guy like some lucky guy real happy. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Shinozaki, it's all right. Please calm down. <laughs> you heard it too. Outside, her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. 
どこかに紙袋でもあるといいんだけどここにはなさそうだし I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into but there aren't any around とにかく気持ちを落ち着かせて安静にさせないと I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing down before she passes out 何かの音が声みたいに聞こえたのかも It probably wasn't a real voice I'm sure it just sounded like one きっと Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out though and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Uh, okay. Or, better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't check this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, Feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level headed adult. Valor, my name is Education. Turn home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. Sorry, that was an amber alert, you guys, if you heard it. That reminds me. Poor Monet's all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Oh, Monet. The disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf of overflowing. Looking closely, there are an excessive number of bugs excitedly scampering all over. The side alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Hmm, that's a new dialogue. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. For the past month, numerous children have gone missing. Oh, I think that's just that's the same, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
I heard something about this once before. But I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. Ooh, the door opened. Spoopy. Plus one three A, the door is locked. Teachers allowed on third floor. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's getting quiet. Yeah, sensei. Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? This ghost is peppy. I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see. Regrettably. That won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the, the planes freely, as they do. Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student scream emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may have even been an echo from the future. Who's to say? <laughs> With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. 
だからってじっとしてなんていられませんどいて It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement. Kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. all appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. Mm, that sounds ominous. Uh oh. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporeal? Sorry about that. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of the month are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. This really, really hurts. So many of us can't even get to the point where we can't even get to the point where we can't even get to the point and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. You have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick up the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about our students. Not once. You're wrong. All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression or kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. <laughs> Any last words, bitch? Oh, it, it hit it. Sorry about that. 
I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Guilty liar. Did you know, when you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain you, the pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain for every moment of every day. Evermore. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Okay, this is what I would really say, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? <laughs> you are one stubborn little bitch. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Oh, another earthquake? I think it's over. What's wrong? Search for Miss Huey. 
What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going! Alright, alright already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? But no paper, huh? Well, there's always a, the teacher's desk. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? What? <laughs> I'm kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. Post elementary notice to all faculty and students due to the recent kidnappings, caution is highly recommended, recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Yui. Where are you? I'm really worried. Oops. Can't find Miss Yui. Guess that's the direction that you were. seems affixed to the wall like a model, it can be opened. <laughs> it's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinazaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. Gonna find Machinazaki. Who's 
Witty day. Mm, I can go to the church floor. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. bugs are neatly arranged on the shelf. Okay, I guess we really cannot go in there. There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rest of the bucket. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2 9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. They'll be like signal flares for Machida and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Come on. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm now playing save point girl. <laughs> Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. What? Are those shoes? Yeah. They're shoes. Oh. oh. These are human bones. No. <laughs> uh, are you okay, Shinozaki? Shinazaki would be a whole lot calmer. What the hell are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Oh, what? 
Oh, that already. I did a superfluous arrow, but judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Hikari Kirigami. Masato. Victims Memoirs 1 of 5. I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats the winner, and I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst, and her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Oh no. There are decaying skeletal remains here about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. Apparently there was no ID either. Uh, this part of the school is gnarly there's a hastily written note on the ground its writers seem to have struggled with it as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read why sister it hurts it hurts after I die the pain will continue forever no 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 Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Mm, we need to avoid her. Custodian's closet, the door is locked. There's an erratic noise like that of TV static coming from within. Yeah, we need to avoid her. It won't open. It won't open. What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hey, Shinozaki? My hand is splitting. 
You are you okay? It looks like there's something in here, though. In the back. Will he be gone now? We'll see. Is he gone now? No, he's still there. Mr. Bloodsoak nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Acquired nail puller. Puller for this. Guess not. Who's on there? What is it? Shizaki, where are you going? What the hell was that all about? Shizaki, there you are. What are you doing? Saying some pretty weird stuff just now. What am I no Is she not aware? Kono Jokyo de no pressure on Sega. Maj de Shinke ga might turn up. She was a pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all the hell by now. Ha, yeah. Kino Sega mo, Oreno. 
never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? Mm -hmm. Trippy. Victim's memoirs I hold in the palm of my hand. A piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head. And now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. And I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand. As if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Hmm. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Yeah, that's where I am. Oh no, little boy. It's a ghost from before. It left the classroom. This snow pillow really doesn't work on this, huh? <sighs> Crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scary child. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Ah! Don't touch me. I have been playing for quite some time now, and I'm kind of at a standstill, because I have a nail puller, ouch, and I don't know what to do with it, sorry, that hurt my leg, and it's getting a little late on my end, um, but just to let you guys know, um, this one's going to be the last one I'm doing, um, for a couple weeks, because I'm going to be, um, out of town for Christmas. And it won't be until after the first of the year when I come back. So, um, now we're getting out to where the ghosts have patrol routes and things like that, which is pretty cool. And now we're getting into the different, um, areas where, like, the, as you can see, where the school is, like, gross and dark and decays more often. And people are really going to start dropping like flies. Which, of course, is the best part of the game. I know that sounds horrible, but, you know, that's when everything starts to get real interesting. 
But all right, everybody. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. Season's greetings, Happy Holidays. And um, I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Feel free to visit my terrarium anytime. Pleasant dreams.